Oh, hi there. Welcome to another episode of the Okanagan Gardener and Forager channel. I found some stinging nettle, so I'm going to harvest some and then I'll make some tea. Stinging nettle, scientific name Urtica dioica. And I'll take some here. I just want the top four to six inches. Now, the leaves are these triangular shaped leaves that are toothed along the edges. And if you look at the stem, the stem has hairs all along the stem. And if you really want to be sure you've got stinging nettle, go ahead and test. You see, ouch, oh, I got one there. Uh, there are health benefits to doing that, but uh, if you really want to be sure you got stinging nettle, that's a good way to do it. What I've got here is enough. I'm making about four cups here. So I've got like 60 grams here and I'm going to use four cups of water. Uh, what I'm doing, the measurements is about one, because they're fresh, one part fresh leaves to 16 parts water. If they were dry, I would do one part dried leaves to 32 parts water. Boiling water over the fresh leaves. Now I'll let it sit for 15 minutes. All right, it's been 15 minutes, so let's try it out. Now nettle, stinging nettle or nettle tea, is said to be, among other things, a blood purifier. It's said to help relieve seasonal allergies. It can relieve pain and various respiratory ailments. Well, let's see if I don't make just a big mess everywhere. It's high in vitamin A, C, K, iron, and a whole bunch of other vitamins and minerals. This probably isn't the best choice of a glass, but uh, I don't have a glass mug with a handle on it, so you can actually see it this way. It's a really mild flavor, uh, earthy. Maybe a little bitter, but not really. Just, it's a nice, nice flavor. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe leave a comment and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Didn't want to miss out on any of the goodness of the nettles, so... You can eat the tea leftovers too. Tastes kind of like spinach.